Hello and welcome to the channel, my name is Annalisa, and today I'm painting a lionfish mermaid. So basically, last week I just had a lot of fun painting my mermaids, and so I decided I wanted to paint another one and have her be based on a more interesting uh, real life fish. And I have enjoyed lionfish for quite a while, they're very cool looking and have really uh, fun contrasting colors with the bright red and the fairly stark white and then of course having the tiger stripes is really cool looking so i decided i would base a mermaid around that and also have her kind of hanging out with a lionfish friend so to start off i did a fairly similar background to my last piece a lot of blue that's kind of swirly this one's a little less complicated has less colors going on because I wanted to do this one a little quicker, a little simpler, uh, because I wanted to focus on the uh, interesting patterns that I was going to put on this fish and this mermaid rather than the background. So I used several references to figure out what I wanted my lionfish to look like. A lot of them are more orange-ish, so I found some that were more red to try to see what that looked like. And boy are these fish complicated. They have so many spines coming off of them. Some of them are coming off of their fins, some off their back, some off their tail, and so it was a little complicated figuring out how to paint the stripes in between all of the spines that were coming off everywhere and making sure I <laughs> included all the different pieces, but it was also very fun. I don't uh, paint a lot of fish and certainly not complicated ones like this. This is also another piece where I used masking fluid a fair amount, some to maintain the shape of my mermaid's face and also some on both her tail and the lionfish's spines because really the only way I found to leave really thin lines white is to use masking fluid because I can't paint negatively that well. <laughs> And so I'm glad that that worked out fairly well. I do have a little difficulty making very thin lines because I try not to use my favorite brushes with the masking fluid because it wrecks them. So I <laughs> tend to use fatter brushes. And then of course the lines aren't as precise, but I have not been able to clean masking fluid off of brushes very well. So I tend to use ones I'm not very precious about and I'm pretty precious <laughs> about my tiny tipped brushes. So then I decided that I would do kind of a fading of the mermaid scales. Instead of having her wear clothing on top, I decided to have her be covered in scales all the way up to her shoulders, which is something I've seen some other artists drawing mermaids do, and I really like how it looks. So I decided to have it fade from the thick stripes that are mimicking the lionfishes on her more tail section, and then have it be more individual individual shuffled scales up on her torso. And I think I kind of like that. I think it would have been just a bit <laughs> too stripey to also have stripes on her torso, so I'm glad that I switched it up a little bit. But I did have a lot of fun painting these stripes. I really like tiger stripes and zebra stripes. <laughs> They're just really fun, and I love the organic patterns that they create. And it was especially fun to do this with such contrasting colors as red and white, which is a bit more fancy than the black and white of a zebra and a little bit easier to pull off <laughs> than the complicated stripes of a tiger. And so I think I'm gonna do a slightly shorter voiceover than usual this time. I just wanna also add that I worked <laughs> pretty hard on her skin tone and getting the shade right because I decided I wanted to practice my shading of skin tones on this one and I feel like it turned out okay especially on her face I like how her face turned out her arms I'm not quite so sure about they're kind of smudgy looking but I'm happy with her face and that's the more important part I think and once I added a lot of uh, white gel pen to the transition from her scales to her skin, I think that ended up a lot better than when it was very stark after I first added in her skin tone. And the other detail that I did a lot of work on was the spines. So both her spines that are on the end of her tail and the spines on the lionfish, uh, from looking at the 
references. Uh, I knew it was going to be very complicated and possibly difficult to achieve that look, but I ended up just doing little uh, strikes in the right direction with the grain of the spines with black and then filled in a bit of extra white with a gel pen and that worked pretty well. So it's still a little bit impressionistic, not, you know, photorealism or anything, but I am really happy with how distinctively <laughs> lionfishish both uh, her tail and my little fish ended up looking. And that's about all I have to say. I'd love to know how you've been doing in the comments. I'm doing all right and doing this piece really actually cheered me up. I had a lot of fun with it and I felt like I really liked my end product and that made me feel more confident and happy with my work. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!